What up, what up fam? So, most of you guys already know, my name is J-Rock. Everyone that's been following this channel mainly came from my other channel, J-Rock Talks. That's my main channel on YouTube. This is Supreme Sissy. This is Golden Boy's sister. For a lot of people that keep asking me there why their names are like that, they have their call name, which is what I call them at home and how they lounge and you know, they're a pet. And then they have their name on papers when they're at the show or when we're representing, if they're gonna be calling out a name, you don't want them calling out, Toby. You know, it sounds a lot better. Golden Boy or, you know, consistent so-and-so. All my dogs, every single dog that I've ever produced, I always put 24K. And it's just, you know, that's something that I always done. And I've done it since the very, very first litter that I ever produced. You know, I always put 24K on there, Golden Boy 24K, Consistent Kennels, Supreme Sissy 24K, always. If I have to pick a shorter name to make sure that I can get the 24K, I'm gonna do that. Every single pup I've ever produced or anyone that's got a dog off me, they have the 24K on their logo, on their thing. And that's just something that I'd like to do so that when other dog men look at it, they know that I produced that. My little signature, if you'll say. Um, so normally I like to keep my dog's nails a little bit shorter. Excuse her chewing on this. I wanted her to be occupied while we were doing this little video. This is my little uh, studio that I'm having remodeled right now and almost ready for my other YouTube channel. And I'm gonna be using it for obviously this channel as well too. Hello, Space Case. It's early out here in Arizona. And uh, anyway, so we were growing her nails out so she could get a little bit more traction on the carpet mill. We do, not only do we run our dogs in the carpet mill, but we also like to do weight pull. We ended up breeding Sissy. She's three at this time, or excuse me, yeah, she's almost three years old. She's off of Mary Jane and Tillicum. Tillicum is off of a white, de excuse me, Tillicum is off of white demon, and Mary Jane is off of a Zor. She's heavy sunline blood, a little bit of Dela Cruz, 5150. We've been extremely happy with her. She's got great structure, and she was just bred to a very extreme male named Zeus. He's off of Pro Bull Sinister, now owned by Titan Bullies. But the whole point of this video is cutting your dog's nails. So normally you want to keep your dog's nails a little bit shorter. You know, as short as you can get without cutting your dog's quick is the healthiest and the best for your animal. It won't get caught on your rugs and it's, you know, the best for the dog. A wolf, a coyote, natural mammals will be wearing down their nails running. When you have your dog in the house or kennel, you know, they're not doing that as much. When you're doing weight pull, when you're doing weight pull, you want your dog's nails to be a little bit longer. In this instance, we were planning on doing weight pull, so we wanted her to have that extra grip. It does help. Everyone that is serious does try to grow their dog's nails out. It helps tremendously when they're on the carpet. That's the texture they use when we weight pull, so we were growing her nails out. As you can see, her nails are a little bit longer. Her quicks are low. These are the type of nail clippers that I like to use. My hand's broken. I don't know if you guys can see on there, but my right hand's broken. It's all puffy and fat. But anyways, um, let me see. Here, take that over. You want to get it? These are the best in my opinion because you can watch what you're doing. Come on, move it. You're blocking me. But if, you, if your dog's nails have quicks and you don't want to cut your dog, you can use hemorrhoid cream. This isn't a joke. Put hemorrhoid cream on your dog's nails and it'll recess the quick so that you can cut them a little bit shorter. Just do it a little bit of a time at a time and keep putting the hemorrhoid cream on there and you'll be able to get them, you know, to the desired length and get them short enough. That's what, oh wow, yep, my hand is messed up. I can barely squeeze this fucking thing. But, um, yeah. Leave it. And you know, you cut them like that, obviously clean it up. We'll go ahead and do the next paw. I'm not gonna be able to use that hand again. And you know, just tell them, good girl. You know, obviously they don't like it. Most dogs don't like getting their nails cuts. I apologize about that little paw. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting it started. My content's gonna improve. I got a uh, podcast coming out with one of the homies. Rider Guy Canines, I'm really looking forward to that. I can't think of his YouTube name right now off the top of my head. Let's try this bumped up hand. Ah, oh, man, that hand's messed up. But um, yeah, you wanna keep your dog's nails close. If you're not weight pulling, there's no need for your dog to have long nails. 
I don't care if you have a little chihuahua and it's hard to cut their nails, you need to be responsible if you're gonna have a pet. There's tons and tons of different ways that you can cut your dog's nails. But big love, I'm out of here. This is Supreme Sissy. She's currently pregnant with Pro Bulls. Hey! Show them titties. Good girl. Big love, y'all.